we're going on a vacation up to Bear Lake and we had brought the kids' bikes along. They were strapped to the back of the camping trailer. And when we were going through the construction, we went over a bump. One of the bikes came loose and fell into the road. We pulled over and Jen went back to go see where it was because we weren't even sure if it was still in the middle of the road or on the side. She tried to get it and was hit by a car. So the car was going about 60 miles an hour. They had to remove her skull. They repaired her broken bones. Um, but the whole time she was in a coma and it took almost a year to get her home again. Your first thoughts are how terrible, oh my gosh, I can't imagine what that feels like. And then maybe your next thoughts are, how can I possibly help? School is gonna be starting in just, you know, a week or two. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, what's gonna to happen to our kids? But how does one person help a, a woman that needs help every single day? I asked if I could take her kids that were going to elementary school to school with me because that's what I was doing with my own kids, is taking them. So that's what I've been doing for the last three and a half years. One Sunday, I was sitting in church behind Jen, and she'd come in with kind of these skewy wampus ponytails, and you know Nathan had, Nathan had done her hair, and you know he's improved a ton. He's really good at you know he can he can braid now, but at the time it wasn't really his forte, and so I just asked Jen after church if it would be okay if I came the next Sunday and did her hair. The stake has it split up, and each ward has a week, and you go in for an hour each day, and you help. Jen stretch her legs and her arms and her neck just to try and get some of the movement back in the left side of her body. And there was one day and a friend in my ward was stretching me and I said, ow, that hurts. And she looked at me and said, Jen, it might hurt, but the stretching is helping you get better. So don't complain about it hurting. It's getting you better. We tried to do things together so she can have more mobility, um, like playing the piano or unloaded the dishwasher or uh, do little things like this. Just being with her, I think, is a blessing because in spite of what's happened to her, she is very positive. I'm grateful that I am home and that I've recovered enough from my accident to be alive and to be around my family. A lot of us are, you know, stuck to our phones or computers or whatever. She's, she's not, and she's, she's always paying attention to her kids. She has the Christ-like love for people that I want to have. I think one heart means being all connected and having the same feelings. The first time they asked in Relief Society, it seemed overwhelming. And I thought, how could I possibly help this family? But then I realized that together, each of the sisters in our ward who just took a little bit of time could come together and make a huge difference. I can't serve everybody, but I can serve someone. <laughs>